All right, welcome. This tutorial is meant to give you a brief overview of what Moodle is, give you some ideas on how you can get started using it at NJIT, and also show you how to log on. So this is meant to be just a very brief overview. This is the first in a series of many tutorials, and we're hoping that this will help you make the plunge into Moodle so you can get started. So the first thing that you want to do is, if you're interested in Moodle, is to know what it is exactly. And it's an open source learning management system. Now, if you're wondering what a learning management system is, it's a website, sort of like a website, that has a lot of different tools that's meant to help you facilitate teach your class. So in the learning management system, there are going to be tools that you can use to ask students questions outside of class through a discussion forum. You can have a text chat. You can upload files, and those files will be behind a login and password that only your students can download. You can have students submit files to their own private drop boxes for assignments. You can have quizzes that are automatically graded. You can have choices so that you can get instant feedback from students. And you can have a wiki, a blog, lots of different tools. Now, any Moodle course can be, um, you can use Moodle for any course that you're assigned to teach at NJIT. The majority of the people using it at NJIT are using it for face to face classes. We also have a lot of instructors that are using it for hybrid classes, a lot of instructors that are using it to teach entirely online classes. The key is that no matter what you're teaching, you can probably find a way that you can use Moodle to help make your life easier and to help the students get access to information quicker and easier than just um, needing to do things like hand out papers in a class or, or use some of the more traditional methods. Now it is open source, which means that there's a large community uh, working on improving and continuously developing Moodle. So it's always improving, it's always changing, it's always growing, which is good. We've been using it at NJIT for a number of years now, so we have um, a pretty good base. We know how to answer a lot of the questions that you may have. So the first thing you want to do if you're thinking about using Moodle is to go to the Moodle at NJIT page. The URL for that is HTTP colon slash slash Moodle, M-O-O-D-L-E dot N-J-I-T dot E-D-U. Note there's no www, just HTTP. When you go to this site, what you're going to do is get a little bit of information uh, with a little bit of resources. We have some links to resources. We're going to be putting these tutorials there. And the first key is, if you think you want to use it, you should request a course. By requesting a course, what that's going to do is get your... Um, automatically create a Moodle course for whatever course you decide you want to use it with. And your students are automatically going to be enrolled. It's updated automatically from the registrar. So as students add classes, they're going to be added to your class. As they drop, they'll be removed from your class. Now what happens is, um, the first step you have to do is go to the bottom of the page and go find the to request a course. Please use the Moodle course request page link. When you click on that, you're going to be asked to log in with your UCID and you just identify which courses you need a Moodle section for. That course normally takes uh, about 48 hours or less to get the course created. And once you have that done, you can log in and you do so with your UCID and password. So I'm going to log in. And you're going to notice that you're going to be redirected to a new site. This is going to be our Moodle site. Um, the key is the only place you can log on from is the moodle.njt.edu. You can't log in directly to the njt.mrooms.net page, so I don't recommend that you bookmark this page. If you're going to be bookmarking the page, you should do so at the moodle.njt.edu. Now on the left, what you're going to see is uh, a couple different things. You're going to see the My Courses, and that's going to be all the courses you're assigned to teach. And then what you're going to do is see some previous semesters that you can go to. And you're also going to see course categories. And you can see whatever courses you're assigned to teach by course categories. Now, I'm an admin, so I have access to a lot of different courses. So what I'll do is I'll show you under the spring 2008. This is an online course that I taught. And when you click on that link, you're going to be taken directly to your course. And here you can go through and start editing your course and get started. And for that, we recommend that you refer to some of the other tutorials um, and help that'll, that'll get you started that way. Now, if you have questions about how to use it, if you need help, 
uh, at any given time, we recommend that you send an email to instruction at njit.edu. We'll be more than happy to work with you either over the phone, through email, schedule an in-person appointment to get you started. Now, our department, which is Instructional Technology and Media Services, does work with um, adjuncts uh, a lot of the time. So if you are an adjunct and you're not available during the day, we can do something to go find a way to accommodate you. So hopefully you'll go browse through these other tutorials and you'll find them valuable. And in no time, you'll be up online and using Google.